Welcome everyone. Um, my name is John, and I'm going to show you how to do a game mechanic that I saw in Zelda Skyward Sword. The game mechanic is that when you hit an enemy, uh, a sound comes out, and each subsequent hit, a different sound comes out, and it, it gives you the feeling of accomplishment. So I'm going to show you how to, A, do that in Construct. Uh, it's a program where you don't have to use any programming knowledge to make games. And uh, I'm also going to show you how to make the sounds in FL Studio. Construct 2 is free, but FL Studio uh, is not free. But you can uh, download the demo. Okay? Uh, I also run a course, and if you want to, if you ever want to learn how to make games, you can learn how to make HTML5, Facebook, and Chrome Store games. Okay? So first of all, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a sprite, and this is going to be a little guy. Okay? And uh, we're just going to open up an image. Okay? And I'm going to change it to. 50 by 50. Okay, so that's going to be our image, and we'll call this guy player, just to, to make sure we're not so confusing. We're also going to change the layout by 640 by 480. Okay, simple enough. Um, and I just know that um, is the size. So on top of this, we're going to add some behaviors. We're going to add eight directions, which makes the guy move around, and we're going to also add in the mount to layout, so he can't go outside the layout. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and we're going to add another sprite. And this sprite here is going to be a circle. And this is going to be our little bullet that we shoot. Okay, we're going to change it to 20 by 20. Uh, oops, sorry, not 20 by 20, 10 by 10. Simply 10 by 10. Then we're going to add in our enemy, which is going to be here. And we're simply just going to make it black. Right? And I just have a little black box for this. Okay, we're going to call this enemy. And then we're going to call this. Bullets. Okay, so the bullets. Uh, we're just going to go to add behavior here. We're going to add in the bullet, and then it basically makes it easy. Like it's it's just that easy. Okay. Now let's hop over here. Oops, I always forget this. Uh, you have to add in the keyboard input. So not all projects have that, but you just have to simply add it. Then we're going to go keyboard, on key pressed. Then you get to choose the key. In this case, we're going to choose space. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to player and it's going to go spawn another object okay and that object of course is going to be bullet simple enough okay so whenever we press the keyboard a bullet is going to come out okay uh, we're going to have to create a global variable and this is going to call hit points now there's many ways you can do this but I'm just going to make it hit points and we're going to make it uh, equal to 4 so hit points is equal to 4 now when you go when the bullet hits the enemy it has to do something so when the bullet, oops, yes, when the enemy is on collision with the bullet, or you can do the other way if you really wanted to, um, you're going to destroy the bullet, first of all, and then second of all, uh, you're going to go to, en uh, sorry, um, back, you're going to go to system, and then you're going to set the value to hit points to hit points minus one. Okay? That's simple enough. So, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to go to system, compare variable. When hit points is equal to zero, we're going to go to enemy and destroy it. Okay? So if we run this game just by pushing F5, you can move this player around. And obviously the enemy doesn't do anything. And if you push space, uh, it hits the enemy. Okay, and then obviously it gets destroyed. Now, what's going to have to happen after this is we're going to have to play that sound. It's simple enough. Okay, so we're going to hop into FL Studio and go from there. So now that I've opened FL Studio, create a new project and go to Insert, and uh, we're going to go to Harmless. Now this, I don't think this comes with FL Studio, but it's a good synth, and there's something that is there's a setting that is so perfect for what we're going to do. We're going to go to Presets, and we're going to go to Mortal Kombat 2. Okay. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Piano Roll, and we're just going to basically make make it up there. So we just we you can basically push notes in here, and you can make them as long as you want. But in this case, it's kind of a more of a, a plucked kind of instrument, so we're just going to basically make it here, like this, okay? So we're going to make one here, 
then this is going to be the second, the third, and then the fourth is going to be this. Okay, so this is really simple. So what we do is do that. So that's going to be the first one. And you can make these any notes, by the way, and feel free to experiment. So we're going to take our wave file, go to desktop, and call this one, and just simply save it. Okay? Push start. Okay? Move it up to a different note, preferably higher, it makes more sense. Then export it to two. Make sure it's a wave file. And then the third one is going to be this. It's going to be higher. And then uh, call it three. And then the last one. And that's going to be the last one. And then desktop. And then four. All right. It's pretty simple. All right. Let's hop back into construct. Okay. Now that we're back here, we have to do two things. We have to double click and add the audio. Okay. Then we have to import our sounds. So for convenience sake, off camera, I just basically put this into a folder. You simply drag your folders, uh, sorry, the this into your sounds. Well, it should work. Oh, sorry. You can go right port import sounds, and then it's in our new folder here, and you can just do that. All right. And you go import, and just push import. That's all I really need to do. Okay. And as you can see, it makes a whole bunch of uh, different uh, conversion files for you, which is pretty awesome. Okay, So we're going to have to add an event, and we're going to go to System, if um, and compare variable. If hit points is equal to 3, okay, we're going to add an action, audio, play. And that play is going to be um, 1. Okay, now I'm going to copy this and paste it, just with Control C, and make this two. Whoops, two, one, and then lastly, zero. Okay, I'm just going to double click this. Instead of one, it's going to be two. Instead of two, it's going to be three. Instead of three. Okay, so when all of this happens, everything should work. But wait, actually, there's one quick thing. If we do this, uh, what happens is is that the if the bullet hits it, it's just going to constantly play this over and over again. So what we have to do is add another condition, and we're going to go to uh, bullet on collision with enemy. Okay, and I'm going to copy that paste it here. Everything should work now. Alright, so let's run it and push F5. Alright. And so that's how you do it. That's how you make um, that, that one little mechanic that you see in the Skyward Sword. Now that's a simple, you know, a simple explanation on how to, how to do all this. So if you like this tutorial and you want me to um, make more tutorials on this, uh, for example, if you have a, you know, if you want to know how a game mechanic is done, I can show you how to do it inside the uh, this engine here. And also, if you like to make games, uh, you can go ahead and check out my course. The links will be below. And uh, the course, uh, if you use one three three one as a coupon code, you get seventy percent off. And um, and yeah. And I hope to see you in the course. And please just message me uh, below on the YouTube what kind of uh, kind of tutorials you want to see. Okay, uh, I'll see you next time.